So problem number six. Draw the projection of a hexagonal prism with uh, base side 25 mm and axis length 65 mm. Is resting on the HP with one of its corner such that uh, the other corner is 30 mm above HP and the axis is parallel to VP. So the hexagonal prism is resting on HP. We have to draw the top view first. Hexagonal prism is resting on HP with one of its corner on HP. So you have to draw the hexagon in true hexagon in corner position. So take the true hexagon in corner position. It's very easy. Just uh, draw the 25 mm line horizontal. Then make out this 120 degree line because included angle for any hexagon is 120. Take uh, this 120, take another 25 and put it on a 30 degree line. To duplicate, you will get the hexagon in color position. So, similar way, draw the, the other end also. So now the hexagon is ready. We have the hexagon like this. So we name the hexagon. So the final hexagon in the corner position looks like this. Name it as A, B, C, D. E, F, then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So identify the center point. You can project this. You can complete the front view. Take 65 mm and uh, finish the rectangle so that you will get the red view. So the axis line can be drawn in the center. And you can name this points on the red view as well. These two edges are visible. So make uh, two dark lines here. So the points at the top starts with A dash. Then this end is D dash, C dash, D dash, E dash, F dash. Similarly, you can mark 1 dash, 2 dash at the bottom, 3 dash at the bottom, 4 dash at the top, 5 dash at the top and 6 dash at the top. The points that are on the top are visible, bottom are invisible. Similarly, all the points at the top visible, bottom invisible. So now you can comfortably place one corner on HP, but the limitation is that the other corner should be strictly 30 mm above HP. So take 30 mm line, take 30 mm line. Put 30 mm here. Take 30 mm horizontal line. Start the corner somewhere here. So now the new point, new position of the corner is 41 dash. Take this horizontal distance and uh, place it on this 30 mm line. So obviously you will be getting a line like this. Try to duplicate this shape on this line. So you will be getting this shape. So the length is 65 mm because the axis length given is 65. Take that 65 and complete the object. Fine. So measure this. Locate the points 5 1 dash and 3 1 dash. And join this. Similarly, you can draw the axis line at the center. 
draw the axis line to exactly at the center. Then identify this end, join that line. So you can now position the new point 1 1 dash, 2 1 dash, 6 1 dash. Similarly, you can put A 1 dash, B 1 dash, C 1 dash, D 1 dash, E 1 dash, F 1 dash. Now you can project this draw one line for D. Similarly for E and C. Again for F and D. Then for A. Same way you can have line for 4, 3 and 5, 2 and D. Then 1. Draw the horizontal lines. Corresponding horizontal lines can be drawn here. So now identify the final points A horizontal and A vertical. So you have A horizontal and A vertical is available here. Mark it as A1. B horizontal and B vertical is available here. Mark B1. C horizontal and C vertical is available here. C1. Similarly, D horizontal and D vertical is D1. E horizontal and E vertical is available here E1. F horizontal and F vertical. F horizontal and F vertical is available here F1. One horizontal, one vertical is available here. 1, 1. Two horizontal and two vertical is available here 2, 1. Similarly, three horizontal and three vertical is available here 3, 1. 4 horizontal and 4 vertical is available here. So, 4 horizontal and 4 vertical is available here. So, you can mark it as 4, 1. 5 horizontal and 5 vertical is available here. So, you can mark it as 5, 1. 6 horizontal and 6 vertical is obtained here as 6, 1. So, now join the outer edges blindly. Join the outer edges blindly. See the visibility. In order to see the visibility, you have to identify the extreme corner. Assume horizontal lines. Whatever is available at the top of these two horizontal lines will be visible. And the portions that are below this line, they are not visible. So, A, B, C, D, E, F, A is completely visible. Try to connect A, B, B, C, C, D, D, E, E, F, E, F and F, A completely visible. 1A is also visible. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1 is completely invisible. So, 1, 2 is edge, leave it. 2, 2, 3 is also edge, you can leave it. 3, 4 is invisible, so therefore mark dotted line. 4, 5 is also invisible, you can mark dotted line. 5, 6 is edge, you can leave it. 6, 1 is also edge, you can leave that also. Similarly, you can connect 2 and B. 2 and B is invisible. When you just mark this an edge. 3 and C is again invisible. So, if you locate 3 and C, it's again edge. 4 and D is also invisible. So, you can put dotted line. 5 and E is edge. You can leave it. 6 and F is also edge. You can leave that also. So, the fashion that you follow is First you will start with A, then you will connect B, C, D, E, F, then once again you will go back to A. Afterwards you will start with uh, 1, then 2, then 3, then 4, 5, then 6, then 1. So 1A, 2B, 3C, 4D, 5E, F6 and 1A is also possible. So try to take the pattern and check the visibility and the final answer. So from the final answer you can understand that there is only one corner, one point alone is on XY line. So it is resting on HP no doubt, but its uh, corner is on HP and uh, axis is inclined to HP. 
how the inclination is obtained? Inclination is obtained in a different way. That means one corner is on the ground, the other corner is 30 mm above the ground. So you are able to get the inclination to HP at the same time the axis is parallel to VP. 